Next, we have to talk about this, of course. Courtesy of my favourite club in the world, Berghain. They're finally released. Finally, 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 finally. And I'm over the moon about it. Released the flipping um, lineup for July and the programme and who's going to play. And the lineup for July is pretty banging i'm actually happy i didn't go on the june date i was meant to go um i've got a date again i'm meant to go to in the middle of july but i'm actually going to push it back to the end because the first thing that i saw that i actually want to attend is csd towards the end of the month i think it's on the 22nd if i'm not mistaken if I scroll, hey, there we go csd on the 22nd now i'm a bit conflicted because i mentioned before previously on the pod that I'm not a fan of going to Berghain during the special events. I feel like the special events, although they can be great in terms of value for money, you get to see all these amazing people all in one day, spread across four different rooms in that massive flipping building, Berghain, Panorama Bar, the Garden and Cell. Great. But the other thing that's the you know reason why it's concerning sometimes is that usually the big events are on public holidays um, or big celebrations and usually a lot of tourists and you know, random folks usually go and attend and it usually leads to it being an absolute crazy roadblock. Plus the regulars are already going there week in, week out. Um, plus all the tourists and whatever it may be and the hype kids, it just makes it sometimes unbearable when it comes to wake times in the queue. Because, you know, the last time I waited there that long was at a really popular kind of, you know, special event, which was the Sylvester. I think that was in sometime June of last year. And I waited legitimately in the queue for fucking four hours to get inside, which I'd never do again. I only did it because I didn't realize the time. I was chatting to randoms in the queue. I was listening to music and shit. I really wasn't paying attention to how the long it was in the queue. I just assumed we were going to get in the next 10 minutes, next 10 minutes, next 10 minutes. And by the time I checked my watch, I was like, shit, I've been here for four hours. But by then I was already next to the fucking barriers. So I didn't want to leave the queue because, you know, my turn was coming. And luckily I was able to get in. But the wait times are awful and sometimes inside despite Bergheim being fucking massive and it being spread across numerous floors different little rooms and stuff you definitely feel when it's a popular holiday kind of event you definitely feel like the dance floors are way more packed and heaving than it would have been any other time and it's hard to navigate it's hard to find pockets to dance because that's most reason why i like going to those places because they're great places to just lose yourself and dance and get freaky and whatnot and you can't even do that sometimes because there's just so many people that you get feel self-conscious i know i do about my space about what i look like and stuff about the sweating i just don't want to do it but I'm going to have to give it a go this time around because this CSD lineup is just so bloody, bloody good. I can't bloody turn it down. And if you're wondering, I guess, you know, what's CSD? I'll tell you what CSD is. Courtesy of flipping Wikipedia. It's Berlin Pride, basically. It says here, courtesy of Wikipedia, the Berlin Pride celebration, also known as Christopher Street Day, aka CSD, um, is a pride parade and festival um, held in the second half of July in Berlin. Germany to celebrate the lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender LGBTQ uh, people and their allies. Since 1979, the event has been held each year. Berlin Pride is one of the biggest, um, largest, sorry, gay and lesbian organized events in Germany and one of the biggest in Europe. Its aim is to demonstrate for equal rights um, and equal treatment of LGBT people as well as celebrate the pride in gay and lesbian culture. As you see here, loads of examples of it. Um, so CSD held in memory of Stonewall riots, the first big uprising of LGBTQ plus people against the police in June 2nd, 27th, uh, June 27th, 1969. These took place in Christopher Street neighborhood in Greenwich Village, New York. The first CSD in Berlin took place in June 30th, 1979, 10 years after the incident, and since it's taken place every year. In 2012, around 700,000 people attended the CSD parade, and 500 people were present at the final parade location at the Bradenburg Gate. So I'm actually going to the parade as well, go by the floats and take some pictures and hang out, making it one of the largest events in Berlin, as well as the largest pride event in the world. So I'm really happy to go. I'm really excited to go because, um, you know, for me, I think it's a really good example of that. That, you know most of the popular or the best club nights are you know centered around queer lgbtq gay folk in general so usually it's going to be an absolute blast and looking at the lineup it's too tough to turn down the lineup is too tough to turn down um i'm really looking forward to seeing boris in the main room honey dijon also i haven't seen play in a very very long time uh jennifer cardini i'm always a big fan of even though i think she's a little bit of a you know a little bit of a cat when it comes to gerd jansen um it's clear you can see that she's a big fan of the guy 
and they've obviously worked before hand and whatnot. Um, but she's definitely one of my favorites too out there. Uh, Partook is great. Faith Fatale, of course. Steffi and Virginia, you know, always amazing. Paramount Bar, Evelyn Emerson's going to be interested to see what she plays like because, you know, the hype around her is pretty extensive, but I'm not really the biggest fan of her sets personally, um, but I'm eager to see what she's going to be like um, in person. Bashka, someone that I'm cool, I I'm kind of interested to see also. Chris Cruz, Kim Ann, um, and Bauchheimer is always a great, great addition to play there in Paramount Bar. Definitely an underrated um, resident DJ over there in Bergheim. Mike Starr is another one who I discovered through Hall. I'm eager to see him. Roy Perez, of course, you know my views on him. I love the guy. Um, Cormac in the garden. I'm disappointed at because I would want to see him in the XXX room, but I think because of the summer, they usually close it down, I'm assuming, because it's a laboratory room, I think. So him seeing him in the garden might be a vibe. Disco vibes in the garden with Cormac and FKA M4A will be cool and Lakuti and Tamasoma and then Saul you've got Hard Tom playing there so really stacked lineup great people there I can't wait to check it out and then there's also other events happening in the city as well Buttons is going on um, there's a Heron Suna happening also so many many events happening um, that I'm really going to be happy to kind of check out so I cannot wait to go so my July is kind of sorted out um, but the rest of the lineup is also flipping amazing to check out also but this is definitely going to be my next sort of like big trip that I'm going to on the 22nd but the rest of the lineup is absolutely stacked as well to kind of check out um, there's a really good um, addition here at the end um, Maron is finally playing at Berkine I've read some places that is his first time maybe his second time not really too sure but regardless i feel like he's kind of deserved the ability you know the chance to play there a very long it's been a long time coming basically um you know alongside oscar mulera that's going to be great imagine if they program it together back to back seeing oscar mulera and Mar and play back to back might be absolutely incredible so um big up everybody that goes to see that if you are able that's going to be loads of fun that's going to be loads and loads and loads and loads of fun 